Hello, so one of the comments that I often get in my videos is I really want to read more history, I really want to get into learning about history and I thought why not do it? So I thought let's do a little video on to show you how you can get into reading non-fiction history because I know it can be a little bit difficult so I thought I'd put together an easy guide and hopefully it'll help you guys out who feel a little bit intimidated by the big chunky monkey history books. So the first thing that I would recommend that you do, now this is of course it's going to be based on British history because I'm British but you can go out and find um, equivalents uh, in your own countries but the, the first thing that I'd recommend is get something like this. Now this is Kings and Queens, A Royal History of England and Scotland. Um, this is an, an encyclopedia basically of all the kings and queens that's ever ruled um, England and Scotland, funnily enough. Um, we have so many in here, there's Henry VIII there, um, what have we got, oh the Wars of the Roses, that's interesting. And I use this quite a lot of the time, I flick through it and think oh I really want to learn about so and so or oh I've, I've read about whoever so much that I want to read something else and I just flick through it and it's quite interesting and you can flick through you can read and think that person seems really interesting or that battle seems really interesting or oh the second world war seems you know fascinating I want to learn more and you can get a little idea of the types of history that you're specifically into so that's the first place I would recommend that you go the next place that I'd recommend you to go is to pick up some magazines. History magazines are absolutely fabulous because they give a whole host of different articles from all different areas of history. So it might be specifically British history, or it might be world history. It might be something really small or it might be something quite big. And you know, you can go in there thinking, oh actually from the encyclopedia I really like to learn a bit more about George II. But then you read an article in one of these and you might think, actually, I want to learn about the Magna Carta. So things like that is really interesting. Now, I've got a few different magazines here. This is all about history. This is a fabulous one to start off with because it's really concise um, and it gives a really interesting kind of detailed style to um, a history magazine. I think it's fabulous. Um, it's a great place to start off with um, if you are really getting into history for the first time. Um, Personally, I am actually subscribed to the BBC History magazine. This is just um, a select few here. Um, and I, as I said, I really like the History magazine. I am subscribed. And I think what is great about this is you might read an article that I said you might not think that you're interested in because you've read the encyclopedia, you're interested in such and such. You read an article and you're like, wow, I want to learn more. And what's great about these is that on the end of um, an article or something, they'll say, you can discover more by, you know, it, it might be um, a podcast, it might be a book, um, it might be an exhibition that's currently on. And, you know, oh, here we go. Um, so what is this? This is an article on the death of Caesar. And you just can discover um, some more by listening to BBC Radio 4. I mean, this is an old one, but they do this on every single um, piece that's in the magazine. So if you specifically like something, then you can go and look at the Discover More bit and go and check it out further. Another great place to start, I mean, certainly in England, we can do this really easily, is to go out and explore your local area and the history of your local area as well. I mean, I'm a member of the National Trust and I love uh, going off gallivanting and finding some beautiful places. And from these, you know, you, you get that, that real um, sense of learning, but you also get that, that kind of um, sense of wanting to learn about specific areas. This is um, part of my reason for the Georgians as well as reading The Strangest Family by Janice Hadlow, when I was reading that I was going out and I was looking at Georgian houses and I absolutely fell in love with the Georgians and now I can't stop reading about them. So that's another thing that I think is really important to go and do and to learn about your local area. It might make you interested in your local history as well which um, you'll be able to pick books up of locally. Once you have kind of thought about something specific in mind, a great place to turn to is children's books. So I've got a couple here from the National Trust. This one is Investigating the 18th Century. This one's Investigating Childhood. And this one's Investigating Design. And these are just, you know, quick little 
books, quick, easy, concise, easy to learn from. There is also children's history books. Now I own this, which is Harbour History's Bird Curling Box of Books. I bought this because I have no idea where my Harbour History's books went, but these are absolutely fabulous. If you haven't heard of Harbour History's, whoopsies, um, they are a company that do fabulous children's history books in really fun um, little books. They're fabulous, absolutely brilliant. Um, I think everyone read Harbour History books as a child. And again, you know, it's on specific topics, so you might want, oh, I want a book on the Tudors, and there is one there for you. Or you might think, I want a book on, what's this? First World War. You know, it's there, it's easy to access. Um, I'll try and link this box down, set down below if I can, but it's absolutely brilliant. And to accompany that as well, they do do um, some magazines. These are really old from when I was a child. These are the magazines that I used to have. I wasn't really into kind of um, girly magazines too much, but I did have my um, Harbour Issues magazine every fortnight because I was cool. <laughs> so once you have done all those things and you've really narrowed down what you're after, um, a great place to go to is some kind of Pitkin and Suskin uh, little guides, which are aimed at adults, but give clear and concise information. So I have Life in Victorian Britain, The Six Wives of Henry VIII, which is, as you can see, I've done all bits and bobs too. Upstairs and downstairs, life in an English country house. Mary Queen of Scots. And Women at War, 1914 to 1918. And you can see how many thingy me bobs I've done in there. When you get one of these guides, you know, they, they do talk about different topics. And usually each kind of double page spread is on a different topic. And you might find, oh, I'm really interested in Women at War. Specifically, I'm really interested in fashion. And you might write some notes that you get from the double page spread. And then you might want to go and find some books about women's fashion during the First World War. Funny enough, if you are interested in that, I do have um, a book review of that, which I'll leave in the link for down below. So once you've done that and you've really narrowed down what you're after, go out and find some books. I think the best piece of advice that I can give you if you're really interested in history is to go out and find something that you're interested in. I think there's so often people think, oh, I want to learn about history, so I'm going to get a book on so-and-so. And it's a book that they're sort of interested, but they're not in a hurry to read, and it ends up sitting on their bookshelves for such a long time. Go out there and find a book that you really like. It might be a case of you've watched a YouTuber like myself, or, or another YouTuber, and you've seen them do a review of a book, and you might be like, I really want to read that then go and read it. It might be a case of you've gone to your local bookshop and you've had a good browse and you're really excited to take it home and read. That's the best piece of advice that I could give you. Get out there and read something that you're excited about. History is amazing. It's so interesting to learn about because it also plans for our future as well. And mistakes that have been made in the past, you know, it's, inter it's interesting with with um, a lot of politics as well. I know I'm rambling now, I'll try not to. But it's interesting with politics that often history kind of repeats itself and mistakes that's been made before, they make again. Um, even though we should learn from history, sometimes we don't. It's a fascinating subject. So I hope this video has helped. Let me know in the comment section down below if this has helped you, I hope it has. And what would you like an introduction to next? Is there anything else that you'd like an introduction to? Please subscribe if you're new and you like videos about books and vintage and history. So take care and I shall see you soon for the next video. Bye!